March 10, 2014, Prophecies on Jesus from the Old Testament, Genesis 49.10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Shiloh is Jesus. So there's a prophecy that he would be from the tribe of Judah, <clears throat> the lion. And here's the scepter, the king of the lion. In Isaiah 9-7, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David. So he's in the bloodline of David. <clears throat> Bethlehem, O thou little among a thousands of Judah. He was born in Bethlehem. Shall come forth to me, a ruler of Israel. That's Jesus' prophecy fulfilled. There he is, being born in Bethlehem. No one understand <clears throat> to rebuild Jerusalem and the Messiah shall be seven weeks, three score, and two weeks. So that's 69 weeks. <clears throat> that's when Daniel prophesied 69 weeks of Daniel. There's one week left, the 70th week. That's tribulation coming soon. So Daniel prophesies exactly when Christ would come. And Isaiah 7:14, the Lord said, you should give a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. That happened by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and then uh, when Israel was a child, then I loved him and called him my son out of Egypt. That means when Jesus had to go to Egypt, when they killed the, the, the sons under two years old, Harold. And Jesus fleed to Egypt until he passed away. <clears throat> so in Zechariah 9 9 <clears throat> says, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, the king cometh. He is just, having salvation, riding upon an ass. This is the prophecy about his triumph uh, going into Jerusalem on a donkey. <clears throat> donkey symbolizes victory. And they were throwing palm tree leaves. It was Palm Sunday. Or Palm, uh, past, Palm Sabbath, or Friday. I'm sorry. <clears throat> anyway, Psalm 41:9. Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread and had lifted his heel against me. That's Judas uh, betraying him. Now remember, this was all written before Jesus, so Jesus fulfilled all these. I mean, who could do that? So I'm trying to prove to you through these prophecies. No one could be born in Bethlehem or make themselves born there or from the tribe of Judah and so on. So, <clears throat> and he said, if you think good, give me my price. Uh, anyways, I don't want to go over that one. Okay, he despised and was rejected, a man of sorrows, and he hid his face. So, this is Israel, the Pharisees rejecting Jesus. I gave back to my smiters and cheeks that they plucked off the hair and hid my face in shame and spitting. That's when the guards were spitting and beating Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> for dogs have comp compassed me, and the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and feet. His hands and feet were pierced on the cross. Prophecy fulfilled. For my love, uh, they are my adversaries, but I will give myself unto prayer meaning that it was forecasted that he would pray for his enemies on the cross, which he did. Um, there he is on the cross. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. <clears throat> and not one bone broken. It was in Psalm 34. He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. <clears throat> Uh, he was despised and then rejected of men, a man of sorrows, rejected by his own Jews, his own people. There's the Pharisees that rejected him, looking at him on the cross. <clears throat> and this is his resurrection verse from the Old Testament. For thou not, will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. So that's his resurrection verse. Here's the resurrection. His tomb is empty. You can go to Israel and look at it. And this is his ascension verse on Pentecost, Psalm 68. Thou has ascended high, and thou has led captivity captive, and has received the gifts of men, 
for rebellious also the Lord God might dwell among them that's the Holy Spirit and then there's his ascension and then this is for the Gentiles behold a servant whom I hold my elect in whom the soul delighteth I put my spirit upon him and he shall bring forth the judgment to the Gentiles uh, this is Isaiah 42 6 the Lord have called thee in the righteousness and hold thy hand and will keep thee and give thee a covenant of the people a light of the Gentiles so the Gentiles are included because of the rejection of the Jews putting them on the cross and in Romans 10 19 it says but I say did not Israel know for Moses said I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are not are no people and by a foolish nation I will anger you so this is the Gentiles getting salvation and Israel getting provoked to jealousy okay Romans 10 19 right there all right and it says Romans 11 8 according to his written God have given them the spirit of slumber eyes this is Israel that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day it's a stumbling block for them Psalm 68 okay he ascended um, okay yeah this is the jealousy verse and then you know just come to Jesus non-believers Jews I showed you all the prophecies in the Old Testament proven Jesus I have a ton more in the New Testament they all parallel together um, I hope this helps helps you in finding Jesus I want everyone to go to heaven that's why I'm doing this uh, video and I'm trying to prove to you like I've proven to myself that Jesus is real he's wonderful and he loves you and he wants to come in your heart and save you so get on your knees now and and ask him to come in your heart and save you Selah. Shalom.